morning YouTube how you doing once again this is Desmond with uh, tips and tricks I want to show you guys how you can iron your polo shirts uh, doesn't matter whether it's Ralph Lauren Nautica or whatever may have you without having the icky starch stuff that go around the collar and making your collar shine and having that stuff all over your shirt I want to show you a trick to it now of course the things that you need to have you also need to have some good starch and you need to have your good iron so here's my trick I never iron my shirts on the outside just so because you don't want to have the starch on there and you never iron the collars on the other side because if you do you get that ring that comes from the actual starch you know when you iron and it actually hits against this rib this rim right here and it shows that shiny spot on there so I'm going to show you guys the trick that I use to iron my shirts and have them with a nice crisp look but don't have the shiny appeal to them and no matter what they tell you, the starch that you buy that is not supposed to leave the shine, it still leaves the shine. So don't believe that crap. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Hold on for one second, and I'll be right back. Guys, like I said, this is what you do. Basically, what you're going to do, you're going to take the shirt, and you're going to turn it inside out. Then you're going to apply the starch to the collar of the shirt as so. Just like you just saw me do. And you take your iron, and you iron from the inside out. Now, when you do this... The shiny portion, as you can see, you can see a little bit of shiny showing up there. The shiny portion will be in the inside of the collar and not on the outside of the collar. I have so many people asking, how do you iron your shirts and, and you keep them from not having that, that shiny uh, deal on the end of your collar? Well, here's my trick to it. Learned this a few years ago. I actually had a cousin who was in the military who taught me this. And uh, he said he's been doing this ever since he was a little boy. And that's how he was able to always keep his shirts nice and crispy without having that god-awful starch look on the collar and so basically you know gives you a nice as you can see the collar is nice and flat looks really nice no shiny streak the shine is all on, on, on the inside of the collar and um, you would do the same thing when you're actually ironing the shirt itself um, give me one second. I'm going to pause and I'll come right back and show you what I'm talking about. Back. Actually, I've, I've already gone to the liberty of putting the starch on the shirt. On the, you know, like I said, once again, this is turned inside out. Now, when you do this, like you see, you see the, the line showing up on the inside of the shirt. This stuff will not show up on the outside of the shirt if you iron it this way inside and out. Now, um, here's the thing. I don't care about having the, 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 the crease line inside but if you guys don't want to have that you basically just want to iron up just shy of getting to the edge of the shirt if you don't want to have that crease line um, if you do and you don't mind having a crease line you just go all the way up to the top and go across the, the um, sleeve of the shirt like slow and you'll have the crease line that actually goes inside um, I've been wearing mine like that for a while so it really doesn't bother me but um, you know whichever you choose to do is completely fine um, but that's basically it. So you just iron the shirt from the inside out. You keep all the starch starch in the inside of the shirt where it shows the little shiny spots. And you have a nice crisp shirt on the in, on the outside out. So when you're walking about, people say, oh, yeah, you know, the guy's really neat. You know, he keeps his clothes really neat on them. So anyhow, I'm going to end this short. Uh, Desmond Collins, tips and tricks. Take care. Like I said, this is what you do. You, basically what you're going to do, you're going to take the shirt and you're going to turn it inside out. Then you're going to apply the starch to the collar of the shirt as so. Just like you just saw me do. And you take your iron and you iron from the inside out. Now when you do this, the shiny portion, as you can see, you can see a little bit of shiny showing up there. The shiny portion will be in the inside of the collar and not on the outside of the collar. I have so many people asking, how do you iron your shirts and, and you keep them from not having that, that shiny uh deal on any of your collar well here's my trick to it learned this a few years ago I actually had a cousin who was in the military who taught me this and uh he said he's been doing this ever since he was a little boy and that's how he was able to always keep his shirts nice and crispy without having that god awful starch look on the collar and so basically you know Gives you a nice, as you can see, the collar is nice and flat. Looks really nice. No shiny streak. The shine is all on, on, on the inside of the collar. And um, you would do the same thing when you're actually ironing the shirt itself. 
Um, give me one second. I'm going to pause on the come right back and show you what I'm talking okay. about. Actually, I've, I've already gone to the liberty of putting the starch on the shirt on the, you know, like I said, once again, this is turned inside out. Now, when you do this, like you see, you see the, the line showing up on the inside of the shirt. This stuff will not show up on the outside of the shirt if you iron it this way inside and out. Now, um, here's the thing. I don't care about having the, 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 the crease line inside, but if you guys don't want to have that, you basically just want to iron up just shy of getting to the edge of the shirt. If you don't want to have that crease line, um, if you do and you don't mind having a crease line, you just go all the way up to the top and go across the, the um, sleeve of the shirt like slow. And you'll have the crease line that actually goes inside. Um, I've been wearing mine like that for a while, so it really doesn't bother me. But, um, you know, whichever you choose to do is completely fine. Um, but that's basically it. So you just iron the shirt from the inside out. You keep all the starch, starch in the inside of the shirt where it shows the little shiny spots. And you have a nice crisp shirt on the, in on the outside out. So when you're walking about, people say, oh, yeah, this guy's really neat. You know, he keeps his clothes really neat on them. So anyhow, I'm going to end this short. Uh, Desmond Collins, tips and tricks. Take care.